so what's going on guys i figured it's been a little bit since i did me a jrpg listing video so here we are today i'm going to jump into the jrpg series that i want to see revived yes you saw the title and that is what we are talking about today there are some beautiful jrpg series out there that just honestly they need a second chance or they need to be brought back into the limelight especially now that jrpgs are ever so popular right now and everybody and their friends are all into the greatest genre of gaming possible <laughs> no, i'm just playing but today we're going to jump into my listing of some personal series that i want to see come back so be sure to share yours down in the comment section below quick shout out to all of my channel members we hit our goal of hitting over 10 channel members so we are super excited thank y'all for your support and helping out the channel also check out the patreon all right enough promotion let's jump into the listing for today i hope y'all enjoy the video man some of these jrpgs are really close to me now this series has been on my channel quite a couple times now but this is the Dark Cloud series consisting of two main games. Now Dark Cloud 1 came out in 2000 and then it had a follow up sequel that many consider one of the best PS2 JRPGs of all time and Dark Cloud 2 come out in 2002. There's just so many amazing things I can say about this series and I think with today's technology the sky is the absolute limit for what the Dark Cloud series could actually go and accomplish. It still has one of the best combat system action JRPG combat systems I've played in any JRPG period. The first game featuring that unique feature to build the town and save the townspeople from the dungeon that you go and crawl in. You are able to rebuild the town in its like image or an image of your own. While the second game took a more traditional JRPG approach of just following the story, the second game also was innovative by allowing you, the player, to play with various vehicles like mechs, robots, and just things of that nature. The aesthetic of the second game too is one of my favorite aesthetics in a JRPG with its medieval steampunk-like nature. This entire franchise just deserves to come back and I have no idea why level 5 has not ever committed to making a Dark Cloud 3. Perhaps I'll have to do even more research on my own but these remain one of the most unique JRPG series I've ever played and I can only imagine how amazing they would be if they were to be brought back in today's age of technology and innovation. I think it would be a huge hit with current modern JRPG players and I don't know guys maybe Maybe level 5 is dropping the ball here because Dark Cloud is a series that absolutely needs to come back, especially with the second one being regarded as one of the best PlayStation 2 JRPGs you can get your hands on. Next, I gotta go with the Grandia series. This series, as you guys know, I make it no stranger. I love this entire franchise. Even the games like Grandia 3 and Extreme, while they aren't the most highest in quality, the first two Grandia games are absolutely legacy making titles. The first game being one of those classic PS1 JRPGs that define a lot of people's start for JRPGs and the second one being one of my favorite video games of all time. This entire franchise probably features the best battle system, turn-based battle system at least, in any JRPG and in my opinion, and I stand by that wholeheartedly because the Grandia series is masterful at making you feel engaged with its turn-based system, and I feel like it paved the way for many of the current games that use a turn-based system when it comes to the JRPG genre. Recently, it has been announced that the HD collection of Grandia 1 and 2 is coming to the PS4 and PS5 and the Xbox One. So this is great to see that this series is still in the hearts and the minds of certain developers. Gung Ho Entertainment is currently the ones overseeing these remasters for the Grandia series. And I can only hope that we can all make enough noise for them to consider to potentially carrying on the Grandia franchise. Now if I recall, I think one of the original creators of the Grandia series has passed away, but his brother is still alive and I'm sure with Gung Ho Entertainment America, there may be a chance that we can see this series come back. I am a huge 
ambassador for the Grandia series, and I believe it is the top tier echelon of JRPG gaming, and I can't wait for you guys to all get your hands on that collection when it does eventually come out, but I would love to see this franchise come back, despite its lesser attempts not being the same quality as the first two titles, this series deserves another chance, and I absolutely hope Gung Ho will give it another shot once they see how passionate we are about the Grandia franchise. At least for me, this game series will never leave my heart and I will always continue to use my channel to bring back the Grandia series no matter what. Be sure to check out the HD collection coming out soon guys. I wouldn't put my name on a franchise I didn't believe and I 100% believe in the Grandia series. And next up is the Dot Hack series. Now this series is such an interesting series to me. To me, it was way ahead of its time. The Dot Hack series always featured this um, internet like cyber connected world where you would play with other users that were actually NPCs. But this is the game that felt like an online game before online games were actually a thing. And I always thought this franchise was so unique of how it personalized and made you feel like you were actually in a cyber community with other players, other users, and just a live and breathing online service. It still baffles me to this day how there is no official online dot hack service game out there that I know of that's a mainstay title. I believe this game was just way ahead of its time with the way that it tried to implement that PC internet social media type of connection with JRPG gameplay. When I was a kid I actually did think I was playing online with folks especially when I had the PS2 version and I plugged in my ethernet all up in the back thinking I was doing something but they were actually NPCs but it goes to show how immersive this game felt to me. Now the combat wasn't the strongest but everything else surrounding these series just made it that much more enjoyable to me and I quite enjoyed the story. It, did, it then had a follow up series called dot hack gu in which we have seen this game remastered and rebought back out on modern platforms in a certain way unfortunately the first set of games are still not remastered and they are still unavailable to play through a regular means so for now the fans of the series of dot hack has to just enjoy its sequel series dot hack gu until the meantime until we actually get a proper remaster of the first set of games and you guys are probably noticing that I'm saying set of games. These games, both series were released in parts of four. So yes, and certain ones of these games, certain parts of these games are way more expensive than others and there's really no available way to try these games out. This is why it's so imperative and important that this franchise should definitely come back into the forefront of today's JRPG players. You add an actual JRPG element online to that, and boy, we have ourselves a winner. We do know that the vice president of CyberConnect wants to remake the first set of Dot Hat games, but they need fan support in order to prove to the higher ups that this is something that we want. So, guys, get busy, get requesting, and let the dependent on Namco know that we want Dot Hack to return. And next, we gotta go with Breath of Fire. As a franchise, as a series, I have no idea why Capcom is just leaving money on the table, especially with this new re-engine and RE engine that Capcom has. I can absolutely see the Breath of Fire series being a pivotal and important franchise in JRPG gaming with this new burst of JRPG interest. It's insane how Capcom has not even touched one of these games. I believe there's five main Breath of Fire titles out there. Four was one of my favorite and two was one of my favorite as well. They're just leaving JRPG money on the table and it's such an unfair thing to do to this franchise because there's so many games that they could pull from to actually remake and remaster and give these games another try. 
I guarantee if Capcom were to give this series another chance in today's world, it would do quite well as a lot of people are just unaware that Capcom even has a mainstay JRPG series of this nature. Breath of Fire was one of the most unique worlds consisting of so many different variations between the different games and the battle system was just an absolute joy as well. I also want to see Capcom's current talent pool try their hand at a JRPG. This is the time. JRPG are on top right now and i would love to see breath of fire put its name back into the hat of jrpgs get a little bit of that jrpg money and get to owning the genre so i hope that breath of fire can come back it was one of the best series that capcom has in their resume and let's hope that if we bring more attention to it they will actually consider bringing it back now for breath of fire fans capcom was asking on a survey if you would like to see these games remastered so be sure to hit up the capcom town survey on their website and get your vote in before it's too late because this might be one of the only chances we have to bring breath of fire back now moving on to one of my favorite JRPGs of all time. Guys, listen, let me tell you something about me. I am never going to stop fighting for Legend of Ligaia. I am never going to stop bringing this game attention. This is one of the best JRPGs ever that just got misrated, misjudged, and if you went back and played it today, you would truly, truly appreciate how beautiful and how much of a hidden gem that this game actually is. It is not perfect and it has flaws. Some flaws of repetition, some flaws of just at certain times, the story being just a little weak. However, this game right here, I'll, I, I mentioned it in my top JRPGs of all time video. I mentioned it in why I got started in JRPGs video. This game will always be a pillar of my JRPG experience. This game, I cannot recommend it enough. You have to go check it out. Legend of Ligaia for the PlayStation 1. And yes, I will always mention this game as much as I can. Sorry if it's getting repetitive. So those are just a handful of JRPG franchises and series that I believe should come back. I think they all deserve a second chance. And I think we would all be happy if these games were to resurface again in today's JRPG gaming scope. That is the video, guys. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world to us here on Cali Q Games. God bless every single one of you guys. Hit that like button, share this video, and I'll see y'all on the next one, man. Enjoy. Peace.